ever received an email that seemed a little too urgent or a bit too good to be true, well, you might be staring down a phishing scam. In today's video, we're uncovering the secrets of these sneaky emails and showing you exactly how to spot and avoid them. Stick around to learn how to protect yourself from falling into these digital traps. Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. My name is Daniela and I'm a content creator here at one.com. Today, we're diving into a topic that's super important for anyone who spends time online, phishing emails. Ever wondered what they are, how to spot them, and how you can protect yourself? Well, you're in the right place. Let's break it all down. First thing first, what exactly is a phishing email? Think of phishing as the digital version of phishing. Just like an angler uses bait to catch fish, cyber criminals use baited emails to catch your personal information. Phishing emails are fake messages designed to trick you into clicking on links and giving away sensitive details like your password or credit card number. The senders often pretend to be from well-known organizations like your bank or even your workplace. So how can you spot a phishing email before it's too late? Here are some key things to look out for. Check the sender. Always examine the sender's email address. Does it look legit or is there something off about it? Often phishing emails will come from addresses that mimic a legitimate one, but with slight variations. Urgent language. Be wary of emails that create a sense of urgency, like your account has been hacked or immediate action required. These are common tactics used to pressure you into clicking a link without thinking. Suspicious links. Hover over any links before clicking on them. If the URL looks strange or doesn't match the supposed sender, it's a red flag. Grammar mistakes. Legitimate companies usually have high standards for communication. If an email is riddled with typos and bad grammar, it's likely a phishing attempt. Unexpected attachments. Be cautious with attachments, especially if you weren't expecting them. Legit companies typically won't send you unsolicited attachments. Now, let's talk about some real-world examples to make this even clearer. One of the most famous phishing attacks happened in 2016. Russian hackers tricked John Podesta, Hillary Clinton's campaign chair, into giving away his Gmail password. How did they do it? They sent him a fake email claiming his password had been compromised and included a link to change it. Of course, the link led to a fake page and just like that, the hackers had his credentials. Phishing scams come in many shapes and sizes. Here are a few common ones. Password reset scams. You might get an email claiming you need to reset your password for a service like ADP to receive your paycheck. It's a clever trick to get you to hand over your login details. Payment requests. Another one is fake invoices or payment requests. These emails might say you've forgotten to pay an invoice and need to do so immediately to avoid account cancellation. Always double check by contacting the company directly. Charity scams. Ever received an email from a wealthy individual wanting to donate their fortune to you? Yep, it's too good to be true. And it's definitely a scam. You might be wondering, what's the difference between spam and phishing? Spam emails are usually just annoying. They're sent in bulk to advertise products or services, often with sketchy offers like winning a car or getting a bank loan. Phishing emails, on the other hand, are much more dangerous because they're trying to steal your personal information. And then there's spare phishing, a more targeted form of phishing where the attacker focuses on a specific individual, often someone high profile, like a CEO. So how do you protect yourself from phishing attacks? Here are a few quick tips. Always be cautious with unsolicited emails. Never click on suspicious links. Use two-factor authentication whenever possible and keep your software and antivirus up to date. Remember, staying vigilant is your best defense. If something feels off, trust your instinct and double check before taking any action. That's all for today's video. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.